Home in the woods. This is my family. My father died and we need to find a new home. Cheerful way to start a book. Summer. Deep in these woods, we find a shack all wrapped in tar paper. It's hot outside. But the shack looks cold and empty, like I feel inside. You never know what treasures we'll find, says Mom. In the shack, we don't see any treasures. But Lowell and Eva find a door in the floor. Below is a root cellar filled with old glass jars, a tin pail, a pile of rags, and a pitcher pump that goes up and down, up and down, and out comes a stream of cool, clear water. This place will do fine, says my big brother Ray, but it doesn't seem like much of a home to me. Outside, the ground is a blanket of rotting leaves. Dal and Bee dig underneath to find soft, dark, rich soil. The seeds from our old garden can go here, says Bee. When the crystal rains fall, our seeds slowly take root. Some treasures take a little time, says Mom. The songs of happy frogs echo through the trees. The woods are a tangle of birch, poplar, pine, and sugar maple. Marv finds the secret path of the white-tailed deer woven all around. The paths lead us to a twisting trout creek, an empty beaver lodge, and a blooming berry patch with sweet jewels of blue and red. We fill our pail, Marv's hat, Ray's bag, Lowell fills his empty belly. Our laughter echoes through the trees. I had to move because of the carpenter bees. I don't think they liked me so close to where they were trying to dig holes in my house. Autumn. Cool winds come and spice up the air and fill it with rust and ruby leaves. Mom walks into town to do chores for pay, so we take care of chores at the shack. Rich writes them on paper slips and we draw them from a hat. Split wood, pull weeds, pick veggies, hang clothes, wash up, sweep some. We fill the glass jars with mum's berry pres preserves and the harvest from our garden. We'll save them for winter and stack them in the cellar like buried treasure. When we need more supplies, we head to the Bennett's General Store. The windows are full of marvelous things, but mum's chore money can only buy some basics. We say nothing at all on the walk home. Back at the shack, we invent a new game, general store. We can buy anything we want. Rich is the banker, Marv pumps gas, B sells fine hats, Lowell is the jeweler, I display mud sweets. Our laughter echoes through the trees once again. Winter. The days are dark 
and bitter winds blow. I love winter. Ah. Only nine more months till winter. Ray and Marv trek out to hunt for food. B huddles in the lamp's glow. Mom teaches her that scraps put together make colored patchwork. I huddle by the warm stove. Rich teaches me that letters put together make words and words put together make stories. Most days, Ray and Marv return from their hunt with nothing at all, but tonight, they are proud and tall. We plunder our stores and mum works the oven like magic. A feast for the kings and queens of the forest, Rich says. Snow falls in a blanket of diamonds all around the shack. The jack pines sway above as we fall asleep close together. But Mum stays awake into the night, whispering to the stars. Spring. After many months, warm, fresh air comes pouring into the shack. The cottonwoods are all in bloom. Me and Bee carry Mum's loaf bread and blueberry jam to the neighbor's farm. They fill our pail with milk and our hat with golden eggs. We go slow and careful on the path home. B calls out the flowers' names. The songs of happy birds echo through the trees. Here in these woods, I find my brothers, my sisters, our mum, and me. The shack all wrapped in tar paper looks different now, warm and bright and filled up with love, like I feel inside.